game theory says that libertarianism won't work, and that's really the nut of my art argument. The game theory theory that I'm citing here is a tit for tat experiments that demonstrates um, optimal behavior in a social group. We need to consider ethics in a lot of different ways and I think Sam Harris got a stab at it in his book The Moral Landscape but I also don't think we're dealing with the problem uh, succinctly as we should. I suggest that it is not a theoretical model where it should be looking for but a functional model kind of like a car or a bridge and this requires an engineering perspective ethics needs to function and it should serve a function and that is in a nutshell my perspective on ethics so in some respects I simply dispense of all former ethics and simply say no we need to look at this differently we need to look at ethics as a function not as a theory some people may get that idea, some people won't, and at this point, personal questions are always welcome. But that is my distinction. That is the difference that I pose between ethics of, current, of the past and ethics that I think we should be looking for. Functional versus theoretical. As for trying to point out freedom, well, when we talk about freedom, one of the things that I came across and realized and one of the books I recently have suggested is the book Superintelligence to make this a little more clear why it, this is an important distinction it is a matter of freedom. I do suggest that freedom is very simple. Freedom can be looked at as a physical thing. We are slaves to our biology and to the physics of our reality. Can we transcend these things? We can, at least in theory at this time. There's no reason why we can't transcend those. Therefore I can say to you I am not free and I will not be truly free until I can transcend these things. So I can see a greater freedom than I currently have. So in one sense I am a slave to my current environment. Now that may not be important to you. You don't want to transcend your current physical form. You don't want to transcend your the constraints of your biology. Fine, that's your choice. But I can conceive and I can imagine and I can design and plan for a future where I am transcending that. It is logical to say that actually exists. And again, I have to refer to the book Superintelligence because at least you have a framework that I'm working from. That being said, when I say to you, you can't simply say we are all born free because I know there is a greater freedom than the freedom we currently enjoy. The greatest possible freedom we could as a biological being is not the greatest possible freedom we could have. And if I say there's something better, uh, it's my opinion. I think it's better. But we know it's not the greatest possible freedom simply to be born. We are not born free. This is just something people say. We are born slaves to our culture. We are born slaves to our environment. We are enslaved to who we are. And to transcend who we are is an interesting concept. And there are several people that are currently working on that. One would be Nick Nostrom, who wrote Superintelligence. Ray Kurzweil. Another is the uh, writer of the beginning of infinity. There are people that are really thinking about what it means to be conscious, what it means to be intellectually capable, and what are we capable of. These are interesting questions, and these are the questions I try to raise with libertarians, but if you don't want to go there, I understand, don't go there. But that's where I'm coming from. Thank you.